Hi, my name is Gavin Grenverwood. I'm the head coach here. We have about 400 kids that come here every week on average to learn how to play this great game. Our philosophy is the power game. Hit the ball far and use your putter to finish it off. So why don't you come and join me and find out how you too can play the power game. This show is all about chipping, putting things that we've already learned into practice. We've already talked about how to set up correctly. Again, making sure that the ball is positioned opposite your right heel, your hands are down the grip and they're forward opposite your left leg. And then of course, much like putting, you're holding your follow through for three seconds to help with distance control. Um, so when we do putting drills and thinking about the technique, it all just ties it together. So the first part of what we've got to do is actually figure out how far we want the ball to carry in order to get the ball to a certain target. So for instance, I'm going to play a little chip shot here. I'm not focused about where the ball finishes. I want to land the ball in that little circle that's just in front of us there. And it's just a little chip shot. You see we've got a little hill here in front of us. It's got to carry onto the green and just into this little circle. As I'm going to demonstrate now. Excellent. And that will hopefully be the same thing that uh, Libby's going to show us now as well. Come on Libby, you have a turn for us. We've got ten balls here. I am expecting you to get five out of ten landing in that circle, okay? Let's see what you can do. Remember the technique we've talked about, hands down, hands forward, ball position back, holding your follow through. Good try. Well done, and again, remember, no bounces. We're trying to learn how to fly the ball a certain distance. We've got to carry it over that little hill in front of us, okay? Make sure you hit it hard enough to get into that circle. Good try, well done, and again. So we're going to leave Libby practicing that. Hopefully she gets five out of ten. We're going to get Neve now to tie the next drill together with that one that we're learning right now. Okay, the second drill is tying together what we've just done to uh, our overall objective. What we've got in front of us are two circles. We've got to land the ball into the first circle, and then, of course, what we see here is where we want the ball to finish. So here's your landing area, and if we land it in there, we know for a fact it's going to roll into this circle here. That hopefully gives us an opportunity to two-putt. We want to get up and down. That's the objective here. Off you go. Let's see what we can do. One, two, three. Oh, that nearly went in. Very good. Try it again. A little bit hard, though. And, of course, I'm not expecting you to get it in 10 out of 10 times, 5 out of 10. What happened there? You're a little bit long. That's why the ball went out of the circle on the far end. OK? So let's try and land it in the first circle, and it will automatically go into the second one. One, two, three. Oh, fantastic. Very, very good. So we're going to leave Neve to finish off here. 5 out of 10 is her objective. She's got 1 out of 3 so far. Remember, think about your landing zone first, and then you'll automatically get the result you're looking for, hopefully resulting in a two-putt. So, we're going to have a look at the third part of our chipping drills, and this is the up and down drill, probably the most important drill, because this ties everything that we've talked about together. We've talked about five other things. We've got three aspects of the technique. We've got the, uh, the, the landing area that we want to practice in the first instance, and then how that relates to where the ball finishes. Right now, we're going to put chipping and putting together, and Grace is going to help us out here. So we've got the up and down drill, and Grace, your objective is five out of ten putts, or five out of ten up and downs um, from these ten balls around the green, okay? Excellent shot. Okay, let me have your club. You grab your putter. As ever, we've got to take the flag out, otherwise that's a two-stroke penalty. Try to recreate what happens on the golf course. Don't do anything different. So your routine here, taking practice putts. Of course, we've done putting already. We know what we want to do. Technique-wise, it's all about routine, recreating what happens on the golf course. Make it purposeful. Every practice you do has to be purposeful. Looking good there. Fantastic. One out of one. We've got three basic drills there that help us put into practice the things that we've learned. So the first one was all about landing the ball into a circle. Where is your landing zone? Think about that as you approach your chip shot onto the, onto the putting green. That then ties into where you want the ball to finish. So once it's landed in that landing zone, it rolls out to somewhere 
fairly close to the hole, we hope. And then what we've just been watching Grace do there, your, your, putt, your chipping drills culminate in the up and down drill. So you've got to chip onto the green and hold the putt. Practicing one chip, one putt, getting up and down all of the time. The more you do that, the better your score is. Don't forget the percentage on tour is about 55%. 55% of the time they get up and down. If we can get anywhere close to that, then our scores are going to be much lower. So go back to your clubs, try that, and hopefully your scores will improve in time.